Hi, I'm Mesa Solomon. I'm an artist and an art professor, and I'm going to show you some blending techniques. What we have here is some compressed charcoal. It comes in different softnesses. So there's hard, medium, soft, and there's also a white compressed charcoal, which is nice. These are blending tools that I think a lot of people look at and go, what? the heck are these? And I'm going to show you what they can do, but you can actually just use your finger um, or use a paper towel that you ball up into something similar. This is a kneaded gum eraser. It's a different consistency than a white or rubber eraser. You can see I can kind of pull it apart. You can twist it around to make a little point and this will fit into little tight areas. You can also break it apart to make smaller erasers. And when it gets dirty, you can knead the dirt out of it so that you can find a clean spot in the eraser. So it's super handy that way. This is a suede-like material. I don't know if it's real suede or not, but it's called a chamois cloth, and this helps move the materials around. These are woodless pencils. These also come in soft, medium, and hard, and you'll notice a difference when you're drawing. The soft is gonna be easier to push around. The hard is not gonna move around as much. Sometimes you want things to blend, sometimes you don't, so be aware when you're drawing of which grade of material that you're using. Let's try stuff out. I'm gonna start with a compress charcoal. All these will also work with vine charcoal or charcoal pencils. You don't have to get materials that look exactly like this. And I'm going to draw a line with the hard charcoal. I'll use one of the bigger ones so you can see. And I'm going to move the material around. What's really fun is when these get a little dirty, you can actually start to draw with them as well. And you'll see there's a different quality to this than there is to this. This is softer, it's a little more ghost-like. This would be really nice to do a shadow. We'll try the medium. I can push this one around a little further. It just feels softer when I'm using the blending tool. And again, I can draw with it once my tool is dirty. And then let's try the soft like butter. I'm going to show you the difference with the chamois. So I'm going to go ahead and blend on this side and we'll do a little comparison. It's a completely different look. You'll notice on the left I can still sort of see my original line and the chamois is kind of creating a ghost around the original line where the blending tool kind of really got in there and mushed all of the material together. And just for fun, I'll also show you what the kneaded eraser can do. That's hard, that's medium, that's soft. I'm going to take the eraser. It's more similar to the blending tool, but again, it's just a slightly different look. As you're drawing, you'll realize how these can be useful to you. So for example, if you're drawing a cloud or if they're big puffy clouds, you might want to use a kneaded eraser. If you're going into leaves, you might want to use the blending tool in order to make the veins of the leaves. You'll figure out how it is that you want these to work. I'm also going to show you what happens when you use your finger, um, which is one of my favorite ways to blend, but you do get a little dirty when you do it this way. I'm going to use my finger on the hard compressed charcoal. You'll notice it's a lot softer and wispier. I mean, you can really see the difference between these. This is the medium. And I'm going to use a clean finger. This is the soft. So I'm going to show you one more time with the woodless pencils, how the three of them work. This is the hard. soft, clean side of the blending tool, this is the medium, this is the soft, I'll chamois the other side. Hard and medium and soft. And I'll show you the finger technique. I'm 
These will also work with the white compressed charcoal or these teeny tiny guys are really nice when you're getting into small spaces. If you need to like move the charcoal around in an eye or get in a flower or a leaf, this little guy is really going to be your friend because he's super tiny. When these get dirty, you can either just go out and buy new ones. They're not super expensive. I think this pack of six of them was only a couple dollars. You can also use an X-Acto knife and clean them off. You can also erase some of the material off of the blending tool. It's not going to get super clean, but it will be clean enough for you to use without making too much of a mark. So let's try and put all of this to use really quickly. A really good exercise to do is to just make a sphere and see if you can like pop a little highlight on it. So we're gonna try and do that with, let's try medium compressed charcoal. So I'm just gonna draw a little circle and I'm gonna say that the light's coming from this way. I'm gonna use my blending tool and fill that in. Making it all nice and soft and even. Now if I wanted to, I could fill it all the way in and come back in with the white and add a little highlight that way. It's going to be a different look. The white's going to be grayed out because it's interacting with the charcoal underneath. So I'm going to use the hard charcoal to get the darkest edge down here underneath sort of in contrast. And then I'm going to try and make like a little bit of a shadow underneath the sphere. And we'll use all three. I'll use the kneaded eraser to kind of blend the material around a little bit more. So it doesn't look so much like I drew it. it gives it a softer edge. So as you can see, each of these tools offers you a different kind of mark making ability. You should just try them out. Or maybe you already have them in your toolkit, in your artist toolkit. You bought a set and you were like, I don't know what these are for. Now you know what they're for. So just try them out, practice them out. They'll be good for all different kinds of applications. See which ones work for you.